by changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint-free world. No more, no more complaining. People, their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint-free world. No more, no more. This. This morning, I want to talk with you about something. First of all, as we're getting started, I want to welcome my new producer. His name is Dragan, and I'm doing my best to pronounce it correctly. It is spelled exactly like dragon, except with an A at the end instead of an O. Dragan is uh, taking over for Miroslav, who is going back to work on cruise ships. The cruise industry is reopening around the world, and right now he's doing uh, employee-only cruise. He's getting ready to start on that, and because of that, he wouldn't be able to continue to produce my show and these um, messages you get. So I want to welcome Dragon, and I know that since Miroslav recommended him, he's going to do a wonderful job. So far, he really, really has, and he even created this thumbnail that you're seeing today. So I want to thank him for doing that. And he did a good job. <laughs> Living here in the tropics, you're not exactly sure what people are seeing. So I want you, if you have a chance and you're not driving or something, listening to this as a podcast, take a look at the thumbnail and you're going to see two different birds. For the first year that I lived here, I thought they were the same. And the reason for that is what is called forced perspective. The one in the bottom, the white one, is a seagull. The one in the top is a frigate. A seagull has a wingspan, I'm guessing, of two to three feet max, uh, 15 inches to two feet maybe. Anyway, a frigate has a wingspan of up to six feet, but frigates tend, not tend, ten, frigates are usually much, much higher up in the sky, and a seagull is much closer to the ground. We've talked about frigates before. I actually have a frigate sculpture outside of my door. So it's what you see right before you come in my door. And frigates are really, really interesting birds. And today I wanted to contrast frigates and seagulls. As I was sitting out and watching the sun rise on the bay on Friday, I was noticing the differences between the frigate and the seagull. And I saw such a wonderful inspiration there for myself. I just really wanted to share it with you. So first of all, seagulls, we all know what seagulls are. Sometimes they're black face. Sometimes they have tufts on their head. Sometimes they're white all over. Sometimes as in this image, you can see they have black on the tips of their wings. A lot of people who spend time at the beach a lot or on the ocean front consider seagulls are kind of like pigeons in New York. They go around and they pick up anything and everything and they eat it. They're like the trash collectors. They're squawky. They're always squawking, whether they're flying or sitting. They're bark, 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 and they do not have a very pleasant squawk. And they tend to stay at low altitudes, as I stay, say, Again, because they are looking for things to eat. They're looking for things to eat. The One of my favorite books, I'm sure it's you, one of your favorites is Jonathan Livingston Seagull. And it was no accident that Richard Bach picked the seagull as a metaphor for people who are just getting by in life, but were constantly complaining and squawking about it. And then there was this Jonathan Livingston Seagull, who chose to fly higher and faster, et cetera, to use flight for more than getting from meal to meal to meal, which is what a seagull does. The other thing that's interesting about a seagull is they don't tend to glide. You'll see it happen from time to time where they just put their wings out and glide, but rarely. They are usually flappity, flappity, flapping because they're looking around for something to eat. Then we have the frigate, as I said, a probably three to four times bigger than the average seagull. And these guys just float in the air. They have these massive wings and frigates, which I, the reason that I love them is 
they are unique among birds in that they live their entire life in the sky. It's not about flying from place to place. All they do is ride the air currents. If you see a frigate flapping its wings, it's one of two things. It's just gone to eat food, which I'll explain to you how that happens in just a moment. Or it is trying to find an air current. And the moment it finds it, it just glides. It just glides. I like frigates because there's that metaphor of not flapping and squawking at the base level of living like a seagull. And a frigate, on the other hand, is just gliding on the air and gliding on the air. Frigates land for one reason, that is to mate. They don't even land to eat, and this is how they eat. <sighs> Frigates are also called man of war, a man of war. Because what a frigate does is it looks around for seagulls that are eating or pelicans. And when it sees them feasting, picking up little fish or pieces of fish or whatever on the surface of the water or even grabbing it out of the water, the frigate will then dive and fold these massive six foot wings into its body and go into a power dive right there down at the seagull, not from behind it or anything, but straight on so that the seagull sees the frigate coming. What do you think the seagull does? Ah! <laughs> and it goes and spits the food out of its mouth. The frigate then unfolds its wings and aims for the food and catches it in the air and goes right back up and catches another draft of air. <sighs> I'm not going to make a comparison. Nature's, nature's <laughs> not, nature is never kind, okay? There are, you, we do get to see these wonderful things of, you know, cows sharing their food with a dog <laughs> or whatever on Reddit. And in the most part, nature's a bitch, as the saying goes, because there is the frigate who gets to glide around. And then there's the seagull who has to think about this now. The seagull actually has to collect more food, probably two to three times as much food just to compensate for the amount of food that is scared away from it by the frigate so that the frigate can eat. Without going too far afield, the seagull doesn't get to choose to be a seagull. The seagull is a seagull. The frigate doesn't get to choose to be a frigate. I think that if there was a big bird choice in little bird heaven before the eggs were laid, the frigate, I think most birds would go, oh, I want to be a frigate. <laughs> Are you kidding me? To have to go around blah, 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 and, and, and pick up junk and stuff like that only to have it stolen half the time, if not more, you're crazy. They don't get to choose. We get to choose. We get to choose. Are we going to ride on the air currents and the things that happen around us knowing that air currents are like many of life events? We really have no control over them. And sometimes the best thing we can do is just glide through them. Are we going to remain elevated in spirit as best we can? Or are we going to get down on the ground and squawk with all the other people? Seagulls, that's another thing I've noticed, sitting out on the dock. They congregate, unlike other birds so much. Cranes don't do it. Egrets, not so much. Uh, frigates, very rarely. Only if they're like hunting over the same group of, of uh Seagulls. But gulls just squawk, 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 squawk. And that's what most people do. And it's called complaining. And that's why I've invited so many people to take the complaint-free challenge. And so many people have taken the complaint-free challenge. I used to be a seagull, y'all. 
I was just, who can I get together with and complain with and squawk about and barely scrape by, etc. And I want to be a frigate, not diving on, <laughs> on gulfs, but I want to be a frigate flying above it all, just riding the waves of air, because that's where happiness is. It's non-resistance. It's non-resistance. The seagull resists. The frigate rides the waves of air. So it's Monday, if you're watching us live. What do you want to do? You want to be a frigate? You want to be a seagull? You get to choose. So choose today. And if you start catch yourself being a seagull, start to soar. Let it go. And the best way not to be a seagull is don't hang around with seagulls. Don't pick up the phone and talk to somebody or text with somebody or FaceTime with somebody whom you know is just going to whack, 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 whack. And so then you start going whack, 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 whack. Complaining really <laughs> sounds like a bunch of seagulls squawking at each other. And the opposite of complaining is gratitude. Gratitude is the opposite of complaining. So express that today. I want to thank all of you once again who are with us live for Develop Your Potential 2021. And more importantly, for those of you who upgraded to the VIP, I am so glad to hear that you are getting benefit from that. Um, I'm just grateful. So grateful. We put so much work into it. My daughter, bless her heart, she was making checklists at the last minute, testing things over and over and every, everything. It was so awesome. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint-free world. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint-free